awesome. Just found a northern water snake along the canal. Good size one. Look how wide he is. And you can see the nice markings on him. So a couple people walked by. They said he hangs out here a lot. Look at that. There's a damselfly on the northern water snake. So we're coming back down the canal and the first northern water snake that we saw was basking out here again, but too many people went by and he took off. Oh, here he comes again. He's coming back, Chris. Hey, awesome. I thought you were gone. Look at you. You're beautiful. Oh, now you're leaving again. I love how you can see those red colors on them. Beautiful, beautiful markings. There he goes, back into the canal. Oh, it's just his tail sticking out. Alrighty, that was fun to see. We just found a second northern water snake. I'm trying to get this quick because there's people walking by. I don't know if he's going to take off. Oh, there he goes. Well, at least we got to see him for a couple of seconds. Hey guys, I just met this really nice man. He's fishing down at the Blackstone Canal and he just found this, caught this beautiful, what is it, a carp? Mirror carp. A mirror carp. Yep. Awesome. What do you think he weighs? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say without the scale, but he's probably like an eight pounder. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. There he goes. Awesome. I'm not sure if this is what they call a grass spider. I don't think it's a wolf spider. Let me just back up and focus in on its web so you can see it. There is its web. So these type of spiders make their webs in the grass. So we've been seeing a lot of these. And another spider. So we were at Riverbend Farm and the trails are flooded. Unfortunately, I did not wear my rubber boots. So once your feet get wet, they're wet. More flooded paths. Now we're leaving the field, heading into the woodlands. Wow, this is halfway up my knees. It'd be cool to see a northern water snake go slithering through here. Well, these flooded paths just keep going and going. I'm sure when we get up by the canal... What, you almost fell, Chris? Oh my goodness, that would not be good. All right, what was it that you stepped on? No, it's like a dip. Oh, all right, I don't want to fall. I would hate for my camera to land in the water. Oh yeah, it goes down really deep here. Oh, I, oh there, I'm feeling it slipping right where you were. I'm seeing worms. Alrighty. Happy little worms and slugs all around here. This one seems to be the longest stretch. There's so much poison ivy in the woodlands that I'm not chancing walking up there. I having fun, Chris? Oh yeah, tons of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just swim to the next stop. <laughs> so here you can see this is like a sort of like an offshoot of the Blackstone River right there. And this is the trail, and then this is the marshy area. All flooded. Wow, that's deep. Oh my goodness. It's up to my kneecaps. Holy moly. There is a pretty good flow to the Blackstone River. Well, if we were in our canoes or kayaks, we'd be zipping right along here. Normally there's a trail right here for us to walk around this part of the Blackstone. This is where we put our canoe in. It's been many, many years since we've seen the water, the Blackstone flowing over here. So that's nice to see. We just walked across the arch bridge, so now we're on the other side. Well, the Blackstone's flowing pretty fast. This pretty purplish pink plant is called knapweed. I remember years ago I used to think it was thistle because the flower does resemble thistle, but of course there are not any thorns on it. But this plant attracts a lot of pollinators. This is staghorn sumac. I love the red flowers. It's always pretty leaves. This pretty plant is smooth sumac. 
It attracts so many bees and different pollinators. That's a pretty big plant. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? These red berries come from honeysuckle. This plant has lots of different nicknames like dwarfed honeysuckle, European fly honeysuckle, balm cherry vine. So it has a lot of different nicknames. Hey guys, look at all these old man of the woods mushrooms. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. See you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>